there was an expectation that we, we would be in for surprise results, but it's really been more of the same for me. I think by far the ANC would be happy with the results. I mean, they will drop three to four percentage, but I think they did much better than anyone uh, expected. If they had wanted to reach two thirds majority, which is 66%, they are unable to get that. And if, if they had wanted that so that they could change the constitution, they will not be able to do that. So they, they will worry about uh, those few dropping percentages, but not too much. Overall, the South African population is still solidly behind the ANC. I think the Democratic Alliance would be happy that they went from 17% to 22. There's room for growth in the future, but I think the question will always be that how long will it take the DA to reach a point where they can be the ruling party? So I think they'll also be going back to re-strategize and look at what they can do to, to get a faster growth, which they really need, because I don't think they would want to be opposition party forever. And also the EFF, which is a new party, which has received just over 6% uh, of uh, the electorate's vote, which is really great for a party that's less than a year. Mm -hmm. It's taking over 20 MPs to parliament. And, and I think that's really a phenomenal uh, achievement. It looks like Ahang will get uh, at least one seat. But Ahang, I, I really don't see it going anywhere as well. You know, Ahang was formed out of the personality of uh, Dr. Mampela Rampela. And she had this vision, you know, of uh, working with other pol uh, opposition political parties, challenging the ANC. And I think she'll probably be discouraged having just got one seat. There's no real difference that she can make. It. And I don't think she she would want to stay for five years as a backbencher in parliament. I don't think COPE will survive beyond the elections, uh, mainly because I think their decline has been coming because they're unable to keep an organization together. So I think that as good as finished, and as well as uh, the, the other parties which will like die quietly are the Pan-Africanist Congress, the PAC, which is quite sad because it's one of our liberation parties. Uh, as well as the Azadian People's Organization. They, they were just nowhere in this election. There, there was a party called the African Independent Congress uh, uh, with an abbreviation AIC, which sounds quite similar to the ANC, which came from nowhere and attained almost 100,000 votes. Uh, and there's a real suspicion that they got this thing because some people may have made a mistake wanting to vote ANC and they voted AIC. So that, that, that really was the, the surprise for me. The, there's, there's nothing exceptional about these uh, elections, I would say, especially if you have the ruling party not being shaken at all and the, the opposition parties rotating the vote amongst themselves, you know, not, not really gaining anything extra, but gaining because one of the other opposition parties have died. So it's been Groundhog Day.